Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy, Dami Boy. And I'm here not with another Dreadlock update, but um, I actually wanted to reach out to those aspiring to grow freeform lots or those who are currently starting out or in a, the early stages right now. Uh, there's a constant worry about job opportunities and where exactly you'll be able to get a job. I'll give you some backstory. I'll speak on my own experience. I currently in the past six days had about three job interviews. I am currently in school. I'm a advertising and PR major about to graduate next semester. Right, I currently I currently work at a, a coffee shop here in New York City and I gotta say from my experience working at a coffee shop having lux having, hasn't stopped me or slowed me down. It's been only a uh, a week since my last update and there's already been a lot of changes as you can see this area is like kind of sticking up right here a lot everything over here is kind of sticking up a lot more I noticed a lot of my back locks a lot of the locks in the back are kind of like laying down now they're all just kind of flat just like falling back now okay. again this is not a dreadlock update video we're about to talk about my past six days experience going out into the corporate business setting and trying to get a job. Being in a barista setting and having freeform locks, that's the category you, category you automatically get placed in. And so it's kind of like people accept you because you have that, free, that uh, hipster appeal. I mean, you'll get the occasional customer who looks at you a little weird and maybe not put a dollar or two in a tip jar, but that's the most you're going to get. Nobody. Hi, no higher ups give me any uh, sort of beef and none of the, the uh, people who come in give me any beef based on my hair. Uh, uh, so I walked in to my interview with Apple and the whole time I was sweating I was like damn bro like should I wear my hair up like this? Should I wear it back? Should I just wear like a tam to like give it more colors? Like what should I do? I knocked on the door went in, talked to the, the guy, he put me in the elevator. And as I was in the elevator, I was looking at myself and I was like, damn bro, this is not really me. I hate holding back my hair so much because it just like, it makes me feel like I'm changing the way it's gonna grow. So the whole time I'm looking at myself in the mirror, just like, you know what, this is, this is a retail job. This is a job that's supposed to, you're supposed to show personality, you're supposed to show who you are on the creative floor. People get these sales going, you know? My hair is an expression of who I am. That's me, you know? I'm a creative. I wanna be able to share that personality in my working floor, in my environment. I wanna be the full me I can be so I can get these sales up. While I'm in the elevator, I'm just looking at myself and I said, you know what? Forget this, bro. I'm gonna walk in, got my little uh, button up on. I have my corduroy. I got the freeform locks. This is who I am. If this is what they want, then they're gonna hire me. I know who I am. I I think I have a great personality. I think I'm approachable. And I think I'm more approachable with my hair out. I went in the interview and it was a big group interview. There was a couple other people with uh, manicured locks. And the interview went successful. I stood out amongst the crowd. There was nobody else with my type of hairstyle. And so what I think that did was, that made people remember me. Uh, I had the room laughing. When we walked out, a couple of the people were just like, thanks for coming. And just from that alone, somebody saying my name, that made me feel good. I was noticed in a room of 30 other people. I think it went good and I'm waiting to hear back. So fast forward now, it's Thursday. I'm going into my first internship meeting at an actual ad agency. Uh, this is a very prestigious ad agency. I don't want to say the name of the advertising agency because I want to protect my business. Now I'm saying. <laughs> I walked in and when I walked in, I had my hair tied back. They don't say anything about my hair. At the same time, I don't want to hide who I am. But I want to be able to show them like, you know, I do pay you guys respect. My hair is going to stick out the back because this is who I am and I can't hide it. Like. I'm a firm believer in like patience and persistence will get you where you need to be as well as hard work. So I don't think my hair or how I look is supposed to stop me from being where I'm supposed to be. I'm not hiding my hair. I made sure that a little bit of my hair was sticking out in the back. Yeah. My resume, on my resume, I make sure 
So when you see me, don't be surprised. I'm just like sweating bullets, man. I'm like, damn, this woman's gonna say something about my hair. I go into her office and the first thing she says to me is, yes, I see. Does your hair still look like this? And I'm over here and I'm sweating bullets. I'm like, <laughs> does, does my hair still look like this? Yes. Is it still this color? <laughs> I mean, it, it's it's grown out a little bit more. That picture was taken about four days ago. So my hair's a little bit longer, and, and the, the bleach the bleach is coming a bit out. But 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 for, for the most part, for the most part, yes. Great, I love it. It looks great. It's awesome. I love your hair. Oh. <laughs> you do. <laughs> Wow! I was amazed. She loved my hair and she couldn't stop mentioning it. She said it about two more times during the interview and as I was walking out, I saw the back of it sticking out and she made sure to say, hey, again, I love your hair. Don't change a thing. Which warmed my heart. It made me really believe, like, as I've said many a times before to my parents, my parents are very... At first, they were against my hair and they wanted me to cut it off. Like, you're not gonna get a job. How do you expect to get a job? I was lucky enough, I did get that internship job for uh, the upcoming winter season. So I'll be starting at my first advertising agency firm uh, as a copywriter uh, for this prestigious agency. I won't say the name again. So those were my first two interviews in the past uh, six days. Uh, yesterday, I just had another interview and this was that. It's for the MAIP program. It's a multicultural multicultural agency internship program. Again, I won't say the name of that advertising agency. It's just a different agency. And get my hair out. I'm sorry. I'm like recording this video with my hair all tied in. Yeah, I want to see the locks. So I walked into this interview and um, I was surprised to see that the person who was interviewing me, she had uh, manicured locks tied all the way down. They were about up to the back of her knees. People got locks in here, like, <laughs> like, yes, like, yes, I don't have to cut my locks, like, hopefully, I don't have to cut my locks. I interviewed with her, and you know, guys, I had, I had my hair tied back, I had everything all formal, all business. In closing, when she asked me if I had any questions for her, you know I had to ask. Miss, I currently do some vlogging and talk about my freeform locks and my experience with growing freeform locks. Can you tell me some stuff about your locks? Dang it, dang it, don't do that. Are you silly? This is a business interview. Ask her about her damn lock. What are you doing? But she told me she was growing her locks for 16 years. She told me uh, her process, how often she washes. She got to see a whole new perspective of the lock growing process and how different we both were in hair maintenance. But at the same time, we both I had a passion for, for hair and for locks, you know? I wash my hair every like three, four days. She washes her hair probably every two or three months. Uh, I use probably one shampoo. She uses about three different shampoos. She does retwisting. I do retwisting. Never. <laughs> uh, she was telling me how, how much she loved it. She was growing her locks for 16 years. I was telling her how a lot of the times, like during this winter season, my hair has been feeling kind of dry. What she advised me, which I didn't even know, I use peppermint oil, and peppermint oil has a drying effect. She spread some dreadlock knowledge, 16 years of dreadlock wisdom, upon a six month individual, and I was highly appreciative. Um, and I also landed that internship as well, guys. I am speaking from my own perspective, but Freeform Locks has not stopped me whatsoever, and I've been getting these internships and these job opportunities uh, not only because I'm I'm blessed, thank God, or lucky. The thing is, it's it's you have to have patience and persistence, and that's one thing my locks have taught me. And I may have to go an extra mile in order to be seen as approachable or kind. But the thing is, I will stand out once that person sees that I am kind and I am appreciative because they will remember my hair. They will remember me. I'm a firm believer in once you get to the bridge, we'll cross that bridge when it comes. Don't not apply to a job because you have freeform locks or because you don't fulfill a certain quality or qualification. You know what? I'm not going to get this. This is this is out of my league, so I'm not going to apply. Or I look like this and this. I I can't grow freeform locks because you know what? I want to do this in the job world and 
feel like anything you want in life, if it's that good, you'll take the risk to do it. I wasn't going to stop and say, you know what, I'm not going to grow Freeform Locks because I want to be a future advertiser. Or Freeform Locks won't stop you from getting the job you want, only you can stop you. I wasn't going to allow myself to stop myself. I'm not going to look at a job application and not apply because I have Freeform Locks. Growing Freeform Locks is a choice you make. Uh, it's a choice that has taught me a lot about myself. It has taught me a lot about patience and persistence, and I'll continue to preach that. It has taught me to go the extra mile and making sure that I stand out, making sure that people see me for who I am. Because I'm so conscious about what's going on on top of my head when I'm speaking to someone, I go the extra mile in being a good person. I feel like this is a new generation, this is a new culture, this is a new moment in time, and people are looking past how you look, your sexuality, your gender, your hairstyle, your skin color, or at least they're trying to. I have worth to put on the table, and my hair is not going to stop me from doing that. Uh, when it comes to freeform locks in the workplace, there is nothing that stops you from getting that job. So, saying that you're not going to grow freeform locks because of a job doesn't make sense. Saying that you're not going to apply to a job because you have freeform locks doesn't make sense. There are two entities that do not correspond with each other. What corresponds with Freeform Locks is patience and persistence. What corresponds to getting a good job is patience and persistence. What corresponds to being successful? Patience and persistence. My locks have taught me to be patient, be persistent, and have good character. And that's all I can tell you guys out there for the aspiring Freeform Lockers and those currently locking now. Just continue to be a good person. Continue to be patient, and as long as you are persistent, your goals will be manifested. This is Dami Boy with Lock Lesson Number One. Go be successful.